everyone, so it's March favourites time and I think you know the deal by now so I'm just going to crack on with it and I'm going to start off with a hair product that I've been loving this month and hair wise I actually did a whole hairy video for my last video so I'll link that up below where this was spoken about quite a bit and it's the Orbe Volumista Mist for Volume and this is just one of the best volumising sprays I've found. It's volumising without leaving your hair crispy or gritty or you just can't feel it. It's like invisible in your hair and it just poofs it up without looking too crazy and over the top. I really like this and I just use it after I've washed it. I just put quite a few spritzes in, kind of 10, maybe a few more, depends how I feel that day. I just spritz it in um, damp hair and then blow dry it and blow dry it really roughly and afterwards I sort of don't really need to do that much with it. So I really, really like this a lot. It's one of Bay's cheaper products, which does say a lot about it, um, but I've been using this for quite a few months and I'm sort of like halfway in. So, and I use it very, uh, not very sparingly at all, so that's good news. And then I have two skincare favourites and the first one, I mentioned this in my skincare routine video, is the Pi Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Fruit and Seed Oil Blend and Vitamin E. And my skin has got kind of dry and it's just drinking this up at the moment. It kind of can't get enough of it. I use this in the evening after a serum but before a moisturiser if my skin needs it. And it's just really nice. It's a really nice oil. There's no crazy fragrances in it or anything like that. It's very pure. It's kind of neat rose hip oil, just a few extra bits in and my skin's just been really liking it and you think that we're we're coming into April now, you know, you think that the weather would be heating up but it's really not and so my skin is still quite dry and still kind of in its winter skin stage and this has really, really been helping it. And with this I just take three drops onto my hands, kind of massage it in and then put it on my face, I sort of pat it into my face. Um, in the evening. I sometimes use it during the day as well if I'm having a no makeup day, but if I'm going to be wearing makeup I don't tend to use this, but I really like it. It does have a slightly funky smell. I'm used to really nice smelling oils like the Clarins Lotus Face Oil and Kiehl's, what's it called, Midnight Concentrate, Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and they smell amazing, but it's because they've got like fancy smelling oils in, whereas this is just you know, straight up stuff. So no really fancy nice smells, but it feels really nice and fancy on the skin. And then another thing, you know, the weather's still been horrible, cold, gross, but you know, I've got back into my fake tanning quite a bit and what I've been using on my face is the Clarins Liquid Bronze Self Tanning and I've been using this for quite a few years now and it's just one of those things, I think this is my second or my third bottle of it and it's just one of those things that's just going to have, it's a permanent fixture, it's always going to be there, it's earned its place as just my top face tanner. I sometimes use the Zentan Dark Lotion Absolute Bronze on my face but it can sometimes look a bit scary in the morning, whereas with this you're never going to look terrifying in the morning, it just adds a really nice warmth to your skin. It's not orange at all and it's very gradual and just a hint of tan. You're not going to get really super dark colour out of this, it's just a really nice like veil of sun-kissed glow I guess and I just stick this on as like a last, last step in my evening routine. I, what I tend to do is do my evening routine, like skincare routine, kind of like an hour or two before I'm actually going to go to bed and then so I let everything sink in and if I'm using oils they're kind of you know already halfway in um, and then I use this just before I'm going to go to bed so it doesn't really interfere with anything else I'm using but I just love this I've loved it I've loved it for so long and I've continued to love it for this month face tanning ravings out of the way onto a foundation and people always ask what's my favorite medium to full coverage foundation or like an evening out foundation and the answer is this one and it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, I have the shade 6 in this and this is a really good foundation for if you're going out or you just need your face to look really put together for a very 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 long time. I don't tend to use this on a daily basis but I've been doing a lot of different things this month and especially if I'm like filming videos like this, it's just nice to have that little bit of extra coverage because the lights can sometimes do like funky things but this is a fantastic one for if you're, especially evenings out, it contains no SPF in it so you're not going to get any weird flashback face, you know, where your body looks quite nice and bronzed and your face just looks like a moomin, that won't happen with this foundation. So this is like an evening out or God, I need my face to look half decent for a very, very, very long time foundation. It's quite 
matte-ish, but not too chalky looking on the skin. And it's sort of a medium-ish coverage. You can build it up to quite heavy. If I had to pick a favorite heavy duty foundation, it would definitely be this. And there's been a few things I've needed heavy duty foundations for. So this has been entered back into my rotation. Then onto eyes and both things I'm actually wearing today. And the first thing is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I got this in my NARS and God Created the Woman Kit. And I used it and I was like, this is really, really, really good stuff. I was used to using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is like a cakey, thick mess, really, compared to this. This is so light on the eyes, it's really invisible. You, it's just a texture that blends in so well. You can't see it, you can't feel it, but your eyeshadow sticks around all day. And eyeshadow-wise, I've been using this, and it's the Clinique Chubby Stick Shadow Tint for Eyes. This is the shade 03 Full of Fun. I got this, I played around with it, and I was sort of like, well, it's, it's okay, and then it sort of got tossed into the back of my makeup drawer abyss. And then I saw Jessica from Jessica French, I'll link her blog up below, and I saw her and I was like, what are you wearing on your eyes? That is incredible. She said it was this. It's basically been on my eyes every day since, because it's a really nice bronze, very subtle, it has a bit of shimmer to it, not too shimmery though. It's just a really nice shade with like my colouring and my eye colour and I really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is the nib on it is very rounded. It's one of those ones that you can just like twist up, you don't have to sharpen. And in a way, I think I would quite like to sharpen it because although you miss out on product, you can get a really thin, you know, like, like a fine end to it and then you can get really on the inner corner of the eye. Whereas with this, I find it quite hard to get into the inner corner of the eye, but it's worth persisting and playing around with it because I do love the color of it at the end of the day. And so I put this all over and then I blend it out with the MAC 217 and then I sort of add just a, it on again in the center of the lids just because it sort of blends out to quite a nice kind of brown smoke. And then I'm like, oh, I need a bit more pigment. So I just pop that back in. But this is a really good choice for people who aren't really massively into eyeshadow like myself. It's just a nice everyday option to throw on. And then another pencil product, I've sort of been having a bit of a pencil product moment, is the Lipstick Queen. This is their glossy lip pencil in genre. And this is what I was wearing in my last video. And it's the nicest everyday pop of colour on the lips. You know what I'm like with my bold lips. I do love them, but I really struggle to wear them on a daily basis. So what I usually do is I smudge them in. I like take it out of the bullet off my finger and then I just smudge it into my lips and like blend it in just to get a stain of colour. But this is like glossy. It doesn't hang around for ages because it's got quite a glossy texture to it, but it's the nicest orangey red shade on the lips. And I've just been wearing really kind of plain makeup, mascara, nothing else on the eyes and then this on the lips, it's become a bit of an everyday uniform for me. It just gets the right balance of being sheer, but kind of pigmented at the same time, and I was like putting this on on the tube the other day, not really even with a mirror, it's very easy to wear and I like that. And then it's a bit of a matchy-matchy, you probably noticed my fingernails kind of, you know, matching around with that. It's Chanel um, Holiday Nail Polish, and I've just been wearing this for like the last two weeks, two, three weeks of the month, and any time it chips, I just sit there and like kind of put a little bit extra on the chips and especially be over it, because I just think it's such a lovely shade. It's like a nice, kind of sophisticated, ladylike red, but with a bit of a punch of like an orange undertone to it, and it just looks really eye-catching on the nails, and I kind of have like new nail syndrome, you know, you sort of can't really stop looking at them, and I really love this shade. The only thing is, the, the application is good, but the formula isn't amazing. It does chip quite easily, especially when you're washing the dishes all the time. So I've had to get back into using my marigolds, but I'm looking out for a dupe for this colour in a much longer lasting formula. And when I find one, I will be sure to shout from the YouTube rooftops because I think it's just a lovely, lovely shade. Those are my March favourites. I'm really looking forward to April. I think it's shaping up to be uh, quite a beefy month beauty-wise, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.